there, you mateys, and welcome aboard to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. And on this episode, I am ready to set sail on creating some new artwork and showing you my whole process along the way. If you guys haven't guessed already, I do have a little bit of a theme in mind. Uh, but without further ado, let me show you where I got my inspirations this week, and um, we'll get started. So I was recently in Haight-Ashbury to check out my booth location for the Haight-Ashbury Street Fair coming up this month. And I noticed that they actually placed me right in front of the Betty Page clothing store, which I couldn't be more excited about. So um, I visited the store while I was there, and um, I noticed that this season they have tons of these adorable sailor and nautical pinup inspired uh, dresses and shorts and little rompers and all kinds of cute kind of 50s style um, clothing and I have been obsessed with this look ever since my mom showed me the movie Gidget when I was about 13. I wanted all her clothes in that movie and I still love that movie by the way. But anyway this got me thinking about my inspiration for my next piece and I started looking at some of my favorite pinup art um, especially by the artist Gil Elvgren who is famous for his pinup work. Um, I have some of his work on my computer and one of my favorite pieces of his is this one of uh, this little sailor girl which led me to think of my favorite sailor of all time, Sailor Moon. So with these things in mind, I started to think about um, how I wanted to work these inspirations into my piece. I've also been saving this little painting for the longest time, and I'm sad to say I don't know who the artist is or even where I got it. I saved it years ago, but I just love it so much, and I kind of want to somehow capture a little bit of its essence in the piece I create today. Now that I've got my inspirations in mind, I'm going to lightly sketch in the pose that I want and uh, get this piece going. Now I like to sketch on tracing paper because it's really smooth and easy to erase and work on, but it has a tendency to get very smudgy and messy, which I don't really like in my final line drawing. So what I'm going to do is scan it and actually reprint it on regular paper, and then I'm going to place it on my light board and put a piece of thick bristol over the printed drawing, and then I'm going to actually transfer it onto the thick bristol, which will give me a cleaner, smoother line drawing which I can actually paint and uh, use color and ink on top of. So as I finish my figure here, I'm going to actually, on separate tracing paper, do some little background elements that I want to add to this composition. Then I'm going to scan both pieces in and assemble them in Photoshop. Now that I've scanned my line drawing and my figure, I'm going to assemble the rest of this composition using Photoshop. And I'm going to use levels to clean it up and make it a little bit more poppy and add background color and some other elements to finish off the piece. In the morning, what will we do when the room gets 
sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Hey, hey, I'm sure it's hey, hey. Shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, shave his belly with a rusty razor, and I in the barn. Way, hey, that's your razor, way, hey, that's your razor, way, hey, that's your razor, and I in the barn. We'll put him in a long boat till he's sober, put him in a long boat till he's sober, put him in a long boat till he's sober, and I in the barn. Way, hey, that's your razor, way, hey, that's your razor. Okay, everyone, well, my sailor gal is almost ready to hit the high seas, but before she does and I show you guys the final piece, just want to make a few quick announcements. The first one is that I have a contest going on right now on my Facebook fan page, which means you do have to be a Facebook fan to participate, which isn't too hard. And all you have to do is take one of my characters here. These are um, blank templates of these ladies that I created. Um, there's two different options. And all you have to do is simply collaborate with me and make them your own. Um, decorate her clothes, add other characters, add backgrounds, add shoes, everything you want. Um, go crazy with it. Just get as creative as possible. And then take your entry and email it to me at Leilani at LeilaniJoy.com. You can enter up to four entries and there will be a first, second, and third place winner. You'll have to come by the fan page to get the rest of the details, but I hope you will enter because I know a lot of you are really creative and amazing artists and I would just love to have a chance to collaborate with you and um, combine our talents. So please come by the page and join. Um, you'll have one month to do it and I will announce the winner on July 1st. So better get those um, colored pencils and paints out and get started. The second announcement I want to make today is that I have some really exciting new stuff that just came in and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, you can now get all my art pieces on keychains. Aren't these so cute? I love them so much. They great, make great presents. And oh, here's one of Foo. And I've got one of all the Element Girls, Chi. And not only that, I also have these brand new little vanity mirrors for you ladies out there that need to just put your lipstick on, check your makeup real quick. Um, they fit perfectly in your purse, and there's a little mirror on the back, oh, as you can see, and they come in these cute little organza bags, and I have all styles of these as well. So come by my Etsy store and grab these up. They make great little gifts for, for somebody. Um, if you're not a girl and you don't use mirrors or you don't really want a keychain, you can also get a magnet for your fridge or your bulletin board for your dorm room or something else. All right, you mateys, without further ado, let's check out this final piece. And remember that there will be prints available of this piece immediately following this broadcast in my Etsy store. So go over there and check that out if you like this one. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And I really appreciate all the awesome comments and emails I get from you guys. I love um, sharing creative ideas and hearing what gets you guys inspired. So keep those coming. Um, I will have new art for you very soon. I'm working on a really exciting commission project right now that I will be sharing the process um, with you guys really soon. So that's it for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Discover what a host pipe Take him in the discover what a host pipe on. Take him in the discover what a host pipe on. A merlin in the morning. Hey, hey, and I'm sure it is.